Have you ever wondered what it's like to study abroad in high school? I interviewed exchange students who had studied abroad in Germany in order to take a deeper look into their experiences. Hi, my name is Kala. I'm 17 years old and I live outside of Atlanta. My name is Caden Ballard and I am a senior in the great state of Kentucky. Hi, my name is Francisca Borneff. I am 16 years old and I'm from the state of Virginia. My name is Maxim. I live in North Carolina. I lived about an hour south of Berlin. I was in East Germany, right in between Berlin and Leipzig. I went to Germany, um, to Rheinbach, Germany, um, during my junior year. I studied abroad my sophomore year and lived in a very small village with only 300 people. I studied abroad in Bremen. I wanted to go and dive deeper into the culture than I would experience just while traveling. And I also wanted to make these new relationships with people internationally and with other CBYXers from different states around the U.S. I studied abroad to really break complacency in my life, I felt like. A lot of times the people I know in my life, um, whether it be my own family or friends or whoever I just I meet throughout uh, my, my town in Kentucky, uh, many of them have never lived outside of Kentucky, lived outside the South, lived um, outside of the U.S. or even have a passport. Um, but then I see like um, the opposite side of that all over the internet are just stories of people that have been all over the globe. And I thought, you know, I'd really love to do something like that when I'm older, maybe like after college. Um, and I watched some videos about it and I, I realized more and more to myself that if I don't start stuff like this now, then there's no saying I can do it five years down the line. Things can change. I applied to study abroad in Germany my freshman year of high school, really just looking to dive deeper into the German language and culture because my family's from there. My mom did study abroad um, when she was living in Europe. She did a study abroad program to the US, which is why eventually she immigrated here. And so it's kind of, it's been talked about in my family um, and that's why I decided to apply. I would say mine was pretty unconventional because my host mom gave birth about a month into my exchange so I lived with a newborn baby and a nine-year-old. I'm gonna have to say my favorite memories with my host family, especially my nine-year-old host brother, would be after I would go on a day trip or a weekend trip, walking home or going to the train station and he would just run up and give me the biggest hug. My host family, um... I feel like host families are something truly indescribable to someone who hasn't experienced one, um, but my best best shot. Um, there's just something magical and like valuably unique um, without overstating it about waking up with like a different set of people in your house. I really loved living in a host family because I could experience all of these German traditions and just the daily life um, of a German family. But there was definitely like a lot of learning experiences, like um, not everybody does stuff the way that we do. I did experience culture shock and I don't think it was specific things. I think that it was a lot of little different aspects of the culture, whether it was social or the way things looked or how people navigated and talked that all kind of built up and made it feel foreign or like I didn't really understand um, kind of the no-brainers. For me, it wasn't as directly impactful as I, I know some of my peers. Um, it, it affected me in more subtle ways, I feel like, um, more, more social mannerisms. I felt like a little isolated sometimes if I didn't pick up on something or if I said something wrong. The language was a big one just because everything around me was happening in German and I wasn't always understanding it all the time. Um, so I think it's just kind of all the little things built up together that really makes someone have culture shock. They did stuff a lot differently from how my family here would do stuff. In Germany, they have like these, they all have glass showers, right? Like no curtains, they have glass showers and they have like this little wiper thing. Um, and apparently you're supposed to like wipe down the glass every single time you go and shower and so that was something weird 
My mental health was definitely at its lowest point in the winter during the holidays and also because the sun would set around 4 p.m. in Germany and that's when the COVID rates were higher and my host mom was particularly concerned about it so there was about a, I don't know, six week period of time where I wasn't really allowed to go outside for anything outside of school. I really handled them in small doses. They were some of the first um, experiences I had with them probably in my, my older life, I guess. I would definitely say March was a clear worst month for me. Um, I struggled. It was very, it's very gray in Germany and get you down. Um, and just sometimes it feels like, ah, oh, I wish I'd be back, but. Uh... I would say my mental health and my homesickness was the worst during the winter months because the weather in Germany gets really cold, really rainy. And also the day was really short. I really didn't have any problems the entire year. I don't know. I just, it was fine. I never really thought about it. Um, I just kind of embraced Germany and went with it. My experience at a German high school was pretty good. I didn't need grades because I'm redoing junior year this year um, so that I can get IB credits. And at school, I tagged along with a girl whose mom was my art teacher. And so I had her exact schedule. So she introduced me to her friends and honestly, she made my social life there so easy. It, you really find yourself developing relationships with some of these people um, and just, I don't know. I, I learned a lot about myself through some of these people that I never would have from my, my American friends. Going to a German high school was very difficult for me, especially at first. The first three months, I didn't really have friends. I didn't understand what was going on around me and I felt very isolated, but I realized slowly that friendships do take a lot of time to build. And I was really lucky to have a host sister my age and we got along really well. So that was definitely my best friend while I was in Germany. Um, and I'm so grateful that I had her as well as her friend group and just everyone was really welcoming. When I got there, people were willing to speak English, which, me, which was actually a bad thing because I needed to learn German. Um, but they were just super interested in like what the U.S. was like and, you know, what I thought of Germany and, you know, let's go try a Duna or something. And what do you think of that? Like, do you guys have that in the U.S.? And it was just like super easy to start talking to people. And that's why I feel like I developed friends really, really quick. Going to school and seeing it, hearing it around me, trying to speak it, um, reading it, listening to German music was one tactic that it, I don't know if it helped me more than these other things, but it was so enjoyable. Really, you get into the routine of just with either your friends or your host family. For me, it was my host dad. Um, he would teach me stuff about English grammar that I didn't even know. I put a lot of effort into learning the language because that was one of my main goals while studying abroad. I made flashcards and learned the vocab. Every night I repeated these flashcards and learned the vocab, learned the grammar pretty fast. Um, I took German classes and really just used my host family and you know going to a German high school in the German language to my advantage. And so my strategy was, um, I would Google like, uh, like a list of the 500 most, um, you know, 100 most uh, common German words, like 200 most common German words, 500. And then I just make flashcards and every single day my goal was to memorize 10 words a day. Um, and together with only speaking German with my host family, like we did not speak any English, um, which was really awkward at first. But together we're speaking to them only in um, German with the lang with the uh, words that I had learned from my flashcards. By month three, it was like, like this is working. Like I can hold conversations and speak to my host family without any problems. From this experience, the biggest thing I learned is just how to be independent because um, while I was living with a host family, a lot of the decisions I was making, especially going out and navigating things, learning the language, making friends, that was on me. And I'm very, very happy with all the decisions I made and the outcome of this year. And I think there was also a lot of personal growth 
not just from the fun times and the day trips, but because the winter was tough and there was culture shock and the holidays were kind of lonely. And when you push through these times and you remind yourself why you were there, I think it made me a more resilient person. It's defined like my ambition for what I want going forward in life, uh, my self-worth. Um, it's shown me what I'm capable of um, and like connected me with tons of inspiring people from not only Germany, but across the US and um, brought me together with people from all walks of life, um, which you get a chance to see in the US, but um, taking that step to be just a little bit like foreign, I think um, is a very underrated, valuable experience for any American. Um, I hasn't experienced that before. Um, it was my first time out of the country and seeing what lots of other people in the US are experiencing, being foreign, feeling foreign, um, it's valuable. I mean, it, it puts you in their shoes literally for a year. I just, I've seen so much personal growth in myself. I feel a lot more self-confident. I feel a lot more confident about what I wanna do in my future and what I wanna do with my life. Um, I got the opportunity to travel so many places throughout Europe, which I'm so grateful for, and also build so many amazing connections with um, people internationally, as well as all across the US. The other exchange students in my program, that group of people I feel like I clicked with more than I have ever clicked with a group of people. Um, they all just had so many similar passions to me and we're all just such inspiring people. Um, I am so grateful that I have a second family and a second home in a different country. That's really special to me and I could not recommend studying abroad more. I think it's the best way to get to know yourself. It has changed me so much as a person. Um, now I can speak German, which is like an added plus, but I think the main thing is what it does to you like I I'm confident uh, I'm able to take care of myself I have seen a new part of the world and so because of that I feel like I'm more open and accepting um, and it just kind of it gives you a new perspective um, so definitely like totally totally worth it you should apply like it's no joke. It's so cool. Best decision of my life, for sure.